Welcome to my childhood bedroom. This is my bedroom at my parents' house. It feels really odd to be filming a video here. I haven't filmed a, a video in this room since high school, but I'm gonna be filming a little bit more here because I'm actually back home with my parents. A couple of weeks ago, I went home for a dentist appointment to my hometown for a dentist appointment. And it was at that point that they started calling for some social distancing measures here in Canada. And because I started to see how things were going, I figured uh, if I'm gonna social distance, I would rather do it with my family than alone. So I will be here for the next little bit creating videos. Um, so you will be seeing a little bit of a different background situation for the next few weeks at least. Although I'm really happy to be here and, and to have people to talk to throughout the day. I'm, I'm here with my with my mom, my dad, and my brother. Uh, it definitely has been an adjustment to be working with so many people around me. It's been a challenge to figure out what kind of content to create at this time. And with everything going on in the news, it's just been a really odd period. March has been odd. And I sense that April is gonna be more of that. <laughs> my focus is still to keep content going up as usual though. Um, but if you have suggestions for things that you want to see me talk about because I do want to make these topics applicable to things that you want to see right now Then uh, please let me know in the comment section down below I know a lot of people right now just need distractions from from what's happening in the world So that's what's keeping me motivated to keep pumping out stuff. So yeah, that's that's the plan That's a plan of attack this month's spreads are a lot of fun. I spoiler alert played with color this month which hazel was very happy with that development i apologize in advance if the footage isn't as crispy as you're used to crispy ew that's a disgusting way to describe footage crisp is the word that i'm looking for if it's not as crisp as you're used to i usually film with my big dslr these plan with me's but i don't have my big boy camera with me so i had to use my vlog camera the show must go on though i made it work and i will stop yapping and let you get into this month's spreads Went into this month's spreads wanting to really add some bright colors because I think we can all agree that March has been a tough month and I wanted to make April spread something that I'd be able to look at and feel instant happy energy from. So you're going to see me use a lot of pink, a lot of yellow, a lot of minty green, all colors on their own that feel very happy, but take on, I think, another level of fun when you combine them. As you can see, the first spread is my month at a glance. I opted for a calendar layout because even though many of us are staying at home or spending more time at home, I think creating structure in your day is more important than ever. If you're privileged enough to still be able to work from home or you're a student, then you're gonna wanna have a place to write down deadlines and due dates. But even if you're doing neither of those things, having some sort of task for the day, whether it's something like very productive, like a closet clean out or something more fun, like a baking afternoon or animal crossing, binge playing, whatever it is, having something will give your day's purpose. And as a result, hopefully distract you and prevent time from dragging. An interesting choice I made for this month at a glance is I decided instead of doing basic numbering for each day of the month, I spelled out the number for each day of the month, which ended up looking really good but it definitely is more time consuming. It's been a while since I've used my Tombow dual brush pens, which speaking of which, I will include details to all of the specific colors I use and links to all the supplies used in today's video in the description box below. And I use those Tombows to really add some serious color to my spreads. I love these markers so much, but I did find the perfectionist in me getting frustrated with being able to see the darker areas where my marker went over the same spot twice. But honestly, now looking back, I think it looks so much better than how I thought it did when I was originally putting this spread together. Sometimes even I get caught up in these weird perfectionist moments where I just need to stop and mentally give myself a get it together girl slap. <laughs> Spread is one I'd recommend doing if you're feeling the need for some positivity in your journal this month. The first part of the spread are these pink columns on both the left and right side of the page. There's a box for every day of the month where you can write something good that happened that day. I think this is going to be such a beautiful mental exercise for the month of April. It doesn't have to be something grand. It can be something super small like I FaceTimed a friend today or a new episode of the show I'm obsessed with came out. Whatever it is, write it down and take a moment to appreciate the awesomeness of that moment. I feel like now more than ever, we just need to appreciate those small joys. I'm 
also using these pages to keep track of healthy habits such as hydration, HIIT workouts, getting outside, making a green smoothie. These are things I know if I'm doing regularly, I will feel physically and emotionally better and that will put me in a better place to tackle the day ahead. One thing I've been playing around with more lately is writing things vertically rather than just always horizontally. I think it's something fun and easy to implement into your journal and can be a really cool touch. I had asked on a recent post on my Instagram feed what you guys wanted to see this month and one that was requested was to create a morning routine spread. Now I'm someone who really, really values her mornings and I love that this was a request because honestly I feel like if I don't do, don't go through some sort of morning routine, my day doesn't start on the right foot. I'm not one of those people that can wake up and just get right to the day. But for the last couple of weeks I don't feel like I've been as committed to my routine as I should be. So I want to change that going forward. One of the biggest must get back into a routine with item on my list is to do a HIIT workout right when I wake up. Earlier in March, I had started to embrace the HIIT workout life and then I kind of fell off the wagon with it. Um, but because I'm just starting out, I'm letting myself ease into it with 15 to 20 minute workouts. Nothing too hard to commit to. <music> On the right page next to the morning routine, I wanted a place to give me some inspiration for fun. I think this forced slowdown, although not an ideal situation for anyone, can present an opportunity to do some fun tasks. For me, I want to make sure I'm not just watching TV anytime I have a non-working moment because I know that would drain me over time, so variety is really important. One task on this list I actually just recently did was I made bread for the first time. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you saw me document that process. I just made some basic white loaves, but I was so proud with how they turned out. And my plan is to eventually explore the world of sourdough bread because why not? to do if you're looking for some ideas on how to fill your time during this period of social distancing I created this spread that is going to be filled with 30 tasks that you could do throughout the month of April this is a list that I'm going to be using and one that I've also written out in the description box below for any of you who need some inspo. FaceTiming my friends and family has been a huge source of comfort during this time so far, but I also plan to do things I've been meaning to do for months, like cleaning out my closet. Especially since I'm at my parents' house right now, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to go through my closet in this bedroom, which is filled with clothes I don't wear anymore, and I seriously need to vacuum it. It is going to be a scary adventure, but a, a necessary one. I most definitely will not be able to get to everything on this list, but at least I have this resource to go to when I get a kick of motivation to do something. spread as always is shocker a weekly spread but I wanted to tackle this weekly spread a little bit differently this month for each day of the week there is a section to write one to do item that is good for my mind my body and my soul and that's really just to ensure that I'm putting myself first every day and I'm putting myself at the top of my to-do list which is something that I am always working towards then in the block below that there is a section to write down any tasks or events that you have during each part of the day, the morning, afternoon, and evening. Of course, if you wanted more of a traditional to-do list layout, you could ignore those time dividers on the bottom and just make each day a single column for general list making.
actually filming this plan with me as the spreads were coming together I wasn't sure how I was liking any of them but by the end of it I actually was really happy with how they turned out I'm really proud of myself for adding more color this month I think the healthy habit spread and the weekly spread are probably my two favorites I would love to know which were yours or which one was yours in the comment section down below also don't forget to leave those video requests that you have as a side note Caitlin's Corner is so close to hitting 200,000 subscribers so if you know anyone a friend a family member that you think would like my videos I would really appreciate it if you shared this video or shared my channel with them try and get us there maybe sooner rather than later I don't know I just think it's gonna be an exciting milestone to hit so yeah if you know anyone who would enjoy what I put out then I would like I said really appreciate it I'm gonna finish things off by just sending lots of good vibes your way I'm thinking of all of you and I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy I will see you all very soon with a new video and until then bye everyone if any of you have followed my channel to the point where you remember this room oh uh, wow <laughs> That's impressive. I can't believe it.